Coming to midfield are Charger captains John Carney, Stan Brock, Courtney Hall, Leslie O'Neill, and Junior Seau. Representing San Francisco are captains Antonio Goss, Tim McDonald, and Jerry Rice. The referee for today's game is Jerry Mark Bright. San Diego is the visiting team and will call the toss. Captain Brock, this is the coin to be used. This is the head, this is the tail. Please call it in the air when it's flipped. Otto, will you do the honors, please? Tails. Tails is the call. It's heads. 49ers win the toss. You want the ball, your choice of goals. Swing around, gentlemen. You've won the toss. You'll go receive. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Meanwhile, visibility inside Joe Robbie Stadium has been greatly reduced. The uh, <laughs> pyrotechnics that we saw during the uh, national anthem, this, that is really, that's actually better than it looks like. There's a great shot from above. It is lingering inside the stadium. It is not cleared yet, and it's hazy. It's like a scene <laughs> from a cabaret. As John Carney, who has found a home in San Diego. He's one of those kickers like so many others who just bounced around. He'll kick off to the 49ers who have been a fast starting team throughout the season. In fact the 49ers have had a propensity to pass a lot more than run in the first quarter of games this season. Joe Robbie Stadium at 76 degrees. 82 percent humidity and Super Bowl 29 is underway with a short kick that is taken up at the 17 yard line by Carter and Dexter gets taken down at the 26 yard line. The tackle is made by Andre Coleman and the game begins with a penalty marker. Jerry Mark Wright, the referee is refereeing his fourth Super Bowl. He's the first man in history to ref four Super Bowls. Personal foul. Face mask, number 54, kicking team, 15 yards, first down. So after good coverage on the kick, Doug Miller cost him 15 yards. Boy, and there's a great look at it right in the middle of our camera. As he goes to the ground, he's just dragging down number 85 for the San Francisco 49ers, Ted Popson. And boy, that was excellent job of catching that one. And you hate to see fairly good work by your special teams thrown out the window. Here are the Niners now at the 41 yard line. They had water split to the right as a wide receiver and give it to the fullback William Floyd for a pickup of four to the 45. The 49ers now offensively with Young at quarterback. Waters really came on toward the end of the season. Floyd a fabulous rookie year from Florida State. Taylor and the fabulous Jerry Rice. Brent Jones the tight end and then the men up front Wallace Sapolo going to the Pro Bowl. Oates the former giant. Deese. And Harris Barton, who tore his triceps on opening night and missed half the season. Healthy now. Second and six from the 45. And with Floyd in motion and no backs behind Young, he goes to the air and hits Taylor. And John Taylor has the ball into San Diego territory, and that's a first down. Say Allen Gibson, the two linebackers, make the stop. Now, San Diego defensively, the base 4-3. Mims, Lee, Davis a great acquisition and Leslie O'Neill has been there since 86 Griggs Gibson and you all know about say and the secondary and they'll be tested tonight Gordon Harper the corners Carrington and Richard to the safety from the 44 they fake it to Floyd young to the air young to Jerry Rice touchdown San Francisco well that's quite a statement their defense made mm. the lightning bolts were just hit by one Jerry Rice, his fifth Super Bowl a touchdown, splitting defensive safety men. And it was almost like they were paralyzed there, almost like they were looking for an autograph as he went by. Well, the first pass to John Taylor was just a three-step drop, a quick release. This time, Young goes back a little farther, and you can see Richard in the trailing position in the middle, and 29 Carrington, both safeties, 
for the San Diego Chargers. It's their responsibility to handle the middle of the football field. And Frank, I'm, I'm, I have dumbfounded as to what they're doing. Good move to the outside on Carrington. He obviously expected help from the inside. From Richard, he didn't get it. Six points, and this is the worst thing that could have happened to the Chargers. Doug Bryan, the rookie for the point after. The game is a minute, 24 seconds old. 7-0 49ers. Doug Bryan sends it skyward. The rookie, Andre Coleman, out of Kansas State. A third-round draft choice. He's done a nice job all season. Gets tackled by Adam Walker. Great coverage by the 49ers. And Stan Humphreys will take over at that spot. Stan Humphreys, selected by Washington in 88, traded a couple of years ago to San Diego. Streaky. Natron Means, the bull with a lot of speed, plows over people. Jefferson and Say are the wideouts, and they play a two tight end set with Young and Papuno. Then the guys up front Swain, a rookie Isaac Davis, Courtney Hall, one of the best, Papuzo, and Stan Brock in his 15th season, the longtime New Orleans Saint, finally makes it to a Super Bowl. First down, the Niners put five men up on the line, and they give it to Natron Means, who squirms for three to the 18-yard line. It'll be second down and seven. Now, San Francisco defensively, and they're really strong up front in the middle. They've got Brown and Ricky Jackson on the outside, but Brian Young, the fabulous rookie from Notre Dame, and Dana Stubblefield, the tackles. Woodall is a rookie, Plummer, the ex-charger, and Ken Norton Jr. seeking his third straight Super Bowl ring. Davis is the only one of those four not going to the Pro Bowl. That's how good that secondary is. Sanders, McDonald, and Hanks with him. Second and call it six. Up at the 19-yard line. Humphreys over the middle. His first pass is complete and caught by Mark Say. Up at the 24-yard line. A little short of the first down. Third and one. And how important is it now for San Diego to keep themselves together, not do anything desperate, stay with a game plan, not... Not get away from it this early in the football game, and I don't think they will. They're, but I do expect them to do a little bit more of the gambling type of offense than we would have expected. One thing I've seen here is that Deion Sanders is locking up with Sean Jefferson, the receiver for the Chargers. He's taking him to either side of the field. We'll have to see if that continues. Third and one, and they're going to open it up. The play fake, the roll, and then the pass is Eric. Intended for Jefferson. So on the type of play, if you're going to button it up, you're going to give it to Means and let him do it. Instead, the Chargers go for the first down through the air but come up empty. Sanders normally the corner on the other side of the field, at least for the first series, goes one-on-one -on -one with Jefferson. Brian Wagner, who started the season in retirement and then picked up in the third week, gets a nice bounce as they let it roll down to the 21-yard line. Stan Humphreys, three and out after the 49ers ran three plays and got seven. And now San Francisco, first and 10 at the 21-yard line. And Steve Young keeps it on the ground, gives it to Ricky Waters, who picks up a yard. He's tackled there by Sean Lee, who had arthroscopic surgery a couple of weeks ago, but is healthy again and starting in the middle, second and nine. Well, Bill Lawrenceberger, the defensive coordinator of the San Diego Chargers, 68 years old, has a wealth of experience at his behest and I'm sure he needed all of it to cut, try to calm down his defensive team which gives up a bonehead touchdown to the 49ers on their first possession. They need to come up big on this series. Second and nine to give a different look with Jones set wide and in motion and coming back the other way to Floyd and Floyd is out to the 28 yard line a little short of the first down. Darian Gordon makes the tackle it will be third down and three. Let's take a look at the Jerry Rice touchdown. Jerry Rice caught 12 passes in the game six weeks ago. Here's a replay of that play, and you saw the quick read by Steve Young as he looked down. Look at that, splitting the safeties. Again, he caught 12 passes for 144 yards six weeks ago. The middle of the field is only supposed to be vulnerable if you've done something with some of your safeties. Blitz them or something like that, not with both of them deep. Third down and three, and Young scramble and that's what Steve Young does and what sets him apart as he runs for the first down so you cover everybody and then there's Young first down San Francisco behind a Nate Singleton block he is so effective he goes back he made about three reads then looking first to his tight end Brent Jones who set up over the middle he was covered he looked to John Taylor he was covered he had the poise and the composure there's a quick read Brent Jones is covered he pulls it down and away he goes and he is one of the better running backs on the football field, the third leading rusher this season for the 49ers with nearly 300 yards. It's almost not fair. No, it isn't. 
He averages 5.1 yards per rush. The league average is 3.7. First down at the 49-yard line. Young this time gives it or fakes it to Floyd, then throws the Waters, who breaks a couple of tackles, and there goes Ricky for a touchdown. Boy, I'll tell you, it was tough enough with John Taylor, Jerry Rice, and Brent Jones, but Ricky Waters has worked himself into the passing offense of the 49ers big time. The leading yardage gainer for backs and receiving this past season, and Bill Arnsbarger just wondering what is happening out there. Ricky oh. Waters, wide open, no protection, no rather no pass rush on Steve Young. You can't. And he miss. took a good blow there. You can't miss tackles against the 49ers. You just can't do it. Stanley Richard got a shot on Ricky Waters. You just can't miss tackles downfield. You can't blow coverages. Not against a football team this good. And I'm in favor of rewinding back to the national anthem and starting over. <laughs> Bill Arnsbarger has watched his defense shredded now. Seven plays have been run by the 49ers, and they have 14 points. And in the history of the Super Bowl, the biggest margin ever overcome was 10. Here's the kickoff by Brian. Andre Coleman takes it at the goal line. And the Kansas State rookie brings it back out to the 22 where he's tackled by Toy Cook as the Chargers come out to take the ball for the second time. Incredibly, as it was on the first touchdown to Jerry Rice, it's the two safeties of the Chargers that are involved. The first one is a hit by Stanley Richard. The first one by Carrington, rather. That's Darren Carrington that bounces off. And then Stanley Richard right here comes in, and he gets faked by Ricky Waters, and he has a clean whiff in the open field. And earlier, safeties have to be good tacklers in this league. Uh, I don't know, it's just almost like they're mesmerized uh, by the 49ers. Here's Humphreys. He floats one that may have been tipped and is caught by Swayne Young. They play a double tight end set for a short game Stanley Richard is known as the the sheriff he better call for the deputies here the way yes. the first uh, two touchdown plays have gone against that secondary and I agree with you I, th I thought it was tipped as well Al it was altered at the line of scrimmage I think Dennis Brown number 96 yep there he gets the uh, left fingers on it and nice piece of concentration there by Dwayne Young second and seven they have Ronnie Harmon in the game Number 33 was in motion, and they go right to Ronnie Harmon, and he seeks a first down and comes close to it. He is their third down specialist. He tied for the team lead in receptions with 58, and they'll probably use him more tonight on first and second down as well. Pittsburgh in the playoff game took him, uh, for all intents and purposes, out of the game. Only one reception, but we're going to see a lot of Ronnie Harmon from this point on in this game because he is a fine pass receiver. You can use him out of the backfield. You can use him in a slot. You can use him as a wide receiver, and he does everything in the passing game well. You can see just a little bit short, and the 49ers were obviously playing with the San Diego Chargers on the first series because now Deion Sanders is back at his familiar right cornerback position. As a matter of fact, Deion now looks like he's uh, taking a stroll towards the sidelines. Each team in its yep. third. He comes out on game. short yardage, but he's Seven. sitting at his right corner position. That last time he was locked up on Mark Say, staying at home. Hanks goes to corner. Hall comes in at safety. Third down and inches. And Humphreys keeps it himself and has the first down at the 33-yard line. The Chargers' initial first down. First down, Dion back in. And goes man-to-man -man with Tony Martin as Natron Means carries to the 37 means out of North Carolina just 22 years old second round pick last year came out early and Bobby Bethard said that acquisition and Reuben Davis defensively were the two best moves he's made in the last two years. And he's made some moves in the last two years. Picked up four unprotected free agents and all of them are starters on defense. That's how much this team has changed defensively in one year. Second and seven at the 37 yard line. And it's means again up to the 40 yard line tackle there by Bryant Young the great looking rookie from Notre Dame Bryant Young has played as well as any defensive defensive lineman rookie that I have seen in a long long time he has started from day one he has played every game he has started every game 
and the 49ers have hit consecutive home runs in the middle of their defensive line. First drafting Dana Stubblefield last year, and then this year with the number one drafting Bryant Young. Third and four, say in motion. Humphreys guns one into the 49er territory, and it is a first down. Ronnie Harmon, who played no part in the AFC Championship game, already a big part on this drive for San Diego here. Well, the Steelers effectively took him out with their defense, and when you take Ronnie Harmon out of your offense, he is their big third down receiver, 24. I think he caught over the season with a good quick move. He can plant a foot, accelerate it out of his cut. That was a good read on the part of quarterback Stan Humphreys and a good pass. Yeah, it was a good sharp throw by Humphreys. That's good to see. Six and a half minutes to go in the quarter. The fake to Means. Humphreys, nobody open. Well, his receiver falls flat on his face. Tony Martin went down to the ground, nobody to go to. It'll be second down and 10. Stan wants to work the right side of the field the whole way. Martin goes down, tries to make his cut, plants his foot, and goes right to the turf. This time he's working against cornerback, you got it, Deion Sanders. And <laughs> Deion doesn't have to do anything. Stan has to throw the ball away. Now Sanders comes back to the other side and locks up with Sean Jefferson. It's second and 10 at the 43 yard line. The short drop this time and the quick out and it's caught by Mark Say. His forward progress takes him to the 40. They'll be third and seven. And let's get a word from Lynn Swan. Swanee. Now with San Diego behind by 14 points, we know they're going to put the ball in the air even more. And Bobby Ross told me before the game that he talked to Jerry Mark Breck to remind him that there's a five-yard chucking zone. They don't want Deion Sanders to be able to put his hands all over the receivers like he did against Michael Irving in the Dallas game. So the officials will be on top of it all night long. Now, all right, thank you, Lynn. Third down and seven. Just inside the 40, 550 to go. First quarter, 14 to nothing, 49ers. This is the ninth play of the drive, and coming across the line was Dana Stubblefield. Was he induced? Offside, number 94, defense, unabated toward the quarterback. Five-yard penalty, third down. That helps a lot. That helps Ralph Friedgen upstairs. When you take a third and long situation and now bring it down to something a little more manageable. Third and a short two. And Ronnie Harmon has a hole to the right side. Inside the 30, down to the 25-yard line. Nice block by rookie Isaac Davis, their top draft pick out of Arkansas to Springham. First down. Ronnie Harmon, who ordinarily works out of the backfield as a receiver, this time used on a little draw play to the offside and very effective. On first and 10, they give it to Natron Means. And like a pinball, he works his way down to the 21-yard line. A pickup of four with 4.40 to go in the first quarter. It's more like a pinball than a pinball. <laughs> <Yeah>. One <laughs> thing with the 49ers going up by 14 this early in the game, you really don't have to leave your game plan. You have a lot of time to get back into the football game, and this is a very effective drive that could get the Chargers back into the game. Here's Means. He's not... He sort of looks like he's a little top-heavy when you get up close to him and you watch him work out. But he has amazing balance for a big man, almost 250. He's got some legs, doesn't he? Ooh. On second and six, Means again. Matron inside the 15, takes it to the 10-yard line. Deion Sanders met Matron Means. <laughs> Deion's so proud of himself for getting in on a tackle. <laughs> He's up high-fiving people. He was there, and he survived it. <laughs> Deion's very open to the press this week down here in Miami. He says, I hate tackling. He said, that's for linebackers. <laughs> it, said, it is the 90s, I guess. Another good-looking good play. It's really the same thing with Papunu, Swain, Davis all being involved, and Dion knifing in there. Oh, nice tackle. First and goal, the nose of the ball was right on the strike, and it's Means taking it to the nine-yard line. He's stopped by Gary Plummer, the longtime former Charger who opted to go to San Francisco to try to get to a Super Bowl, and he did, of course, not having any idea, be facing his old mates. A little bit ironic, except I think that Gary Plummer thought all along that he had a much better chance of getting there with the uh, 49ers. The Chargers, they didn't look like at the second half of the season that they were going to do much of anything in the postseason. A 500 ball club down the stretch. 
On second and goal. Humphreys guns it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got there Sanders is. that time. Sanders got flag covering Sean Jefferson. Oh, he almost garroted him. And right in front of the official. That's as flagrant a defensive hold as you will uh, as you'll see. The 49ers jumping out to a quick 14 to nothing lead, but the Chargers doing anything but rolling over and dying. It moved down the field, first and goal at the one. Means the tailback. <laughs> they give it to Natron Means, and he's in for the touchdown behind Steve Hendrickson. Boy, we talk about athletic ability. You saw it there. We we're talking about Means, how powerful he is. He also is. He's so agile for the man his size. This time he just hurtled over the top into the end zone. A championship quality drive by the San Diego Chargers. Doing they what mixed. they want to do oh. and taking time off the clock. Yeah, beautiful right mix. back into it. Beautiful mix of plays. The run, the passes, left, right. Nice play calling by Ralph Friedgen. Good execution by his offensive team. John Carney, who led the league in scoring, tacks on the extra point. 13 plays, 78 yards, engineered by Ralph Friedgen, the offensive coordinator. Well, Stan Humphreys leading the San Diego Chargers on a drive they desperately needed at that point, with the 49ers scoring quickly. 14-0, a nightmarish beginning, but now they're right back in it. Yeah, but now, unfortunately, they have to give San Francisco <laughs> the ball. And that's been a problem. That's been a problem. John the two times they've had it, it's been a problem for San Diego. Carney kicks off. Dexter Carter fields the ball at the 12 yard line and brings it back out to the 31. It's a 19 yard run back. Eric Castle makes the tackle. And a little pushy shovey. Well, if this pushy shovey keeps going, there's going to be a flag. It's, it's reached the limits of how far it can go without a flag. It is first down. And Jerry Rice goes in motion from the 30 yard line. Fake to Waters over the middle. The catch is made by Jerry Rice. And after the 49 yard line, he goes. He's tackled there by Junior Seau. It's a 19 yard gain. First down at the 49 yard line. They're going to run reverse as Waters hands it to Jerry Rice. Rice into San Diego territory. Bumped out at the 41 yard line. Tackle made by Gordon. He took a tough hit at the end. Well, he's taken down. a lot of tough hits over the years. Jerry Rice, one of the remarkable things about him. Not the records that he has set. He has never missed a game because of an injury. He's taken many hits like that. One of the best conditioned athletes, hardest working athletes I have ever met. First and 10 of the 41. Young is perfect thus far. He's 5 of 5. And now he is 5 of 6 intended for Brent Jones. It's been a pretty quiet week, all things considered. Uh, very few fireworks between these two teams. I guess the biggest story is kind of a non-story. Jerry Rice musing about retirement. But that's not going to happen. No, I'm musing. Just, well, and, well I, Jerry Rice was a little ill over the past 24 hours. Yeah, and, Jerry made a valid point. He said, hey, I've been in the league 10 years. I have the right to think about quitting. One thing about Jerry Rice, he does want to own every passing record in the NFL history books, and it, he's still had a little work left to do. He's back in on second. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Taylor makes a fabulous catch. Yeah, you, that's the problem. You talk about Jerry Rice on one side, and the other side is John Taylor. One of the reasons Jerry Rice, he's a great receiver, of course. Is, We're talking about this is, one, by the way, guys. It this, was ruled initially a catch, and now uh, another official may have had a better yeah. vantage point. Well, they're going to. No, they're, they're still gonna, letting they're it stand. I think it was a perfect catch. I mean, he went down to pull the ball up. Look at that. Great. Covered oh. it with the arm. Yes. Oh God, but that's beautiful. If you double cover. <laughs> Jerry Rice, you're going to get single coverage on John Taylor. Beautiful. And he can kill you. Upon further the review, a first down. Mm -mm. With 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Ricky Waters, nothing in the middle, so he goes to the outside, but Gibson gets an arm on him, and then he lost the ball, but out of bounds as Harper comes up to help out. Ricky lost the ball, nearly lost his helmet. Excellent support on the corner by the San Diego Chargers. They can play the run, and that time they got a lot of white jerseys up there. Dennis Gibson, the hero of the game in Pittsburgh. But that was just a good collective effort by the Chargers. You string a running back out. You don't let him get his shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage. Excellent team defense by San Diego. And we talked about Jerry Rice and John Taylor, and we have not yet heard from Brent Jones. We will soon. 
They attempted that one pass to him that was incomplete. Second and 11. Young scrambling. Taken off. Inside the 20. Bang down at the 15 by uh, Junior Seau. And you Trey Jones it. may not be catching passes, yeah. but he threw a block oh, right there. Did he throw a beautiful block? Well, directed by the maestro. Steve's pointing the guys out. Take him down, and he did. 15-yard pickup. Young is now carried twice for 36 yards and watches the first quarter expire. Back in Miami. Second quarter about to begin. Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, Dan Deardorff, Super Bowl 29. 49ers have marched down the field twice. They were countered by a long San Diego drive to make it 14 to 7. And now as we begin period number two, it's a first and 10 for the 49ers at the 15-yard line. Ricky Waters splits to the left. And Jerry Rice comes in motion. Floyd stays in the block. Young throws to Rice, and he's tackled by Darian Gordon after a minimal game. Pick up of three. And this is the territory where you've got to cover number 84, Brent Jones. This is where he likes to work the big tight end. Second and seven. And with Floyd in motion, Reuben Davis came across the line. Reuben Davis picked up as a free agent from the Phoenix Cardinals. It wasn't exactly an explosive Defense. five yard penalty. Second down. Floyd takes it down to the five yard line, fighting his way forward. He is stopped there by Dennis Gibson. And he's real close to a first down. Gibson making that stop. Dennis Gibson, uh, as much as anybody else, the reason that the San Diego Chargers and not the Pittsburgh Steelers are here today and again he's one of Bobby Beathard's four unprotected free agents that came over and Reuben Davis we talked about him a moment ago David Griggs was also the part of that unprotected free agent crop as was Dwayne Harper the cornerback and they all start there's Bobby Beathard on the right Gibson knocking down that pass from O'Donnell intended for Foster that sent San Diego here third and inches and Young tries to turn his shoulders and angle his way the first down. very close but Steve Young one of the best quarterback sneaking QBs in the league because of his sense of being able to feel the softness in there and, and, and get a first down there just wasn't much softness there the penetration belonged that time to the guys in the white shirts the defensive line of the Chargers he didn't have to go very far though we're talking about just a couple of inches and they're going to bring in the sticks and take a close look at this one he looks to the left then tries to come back to the right he goes low and in that situation, it is awful hard to not pick up more than a couple inches. You can see they got the nose of the ball onto the five. You can't hesitate either. I mean, yeah. he took a look to the left, as you pointed out, tried to take it to the right. That is, That changes things dramatically. It's just your offensive line has to get beaten so badly to not pick up a couple of inches on a quarterback's sneak. Mm -hmm. Somehow the center has to get really blown back off the ball, and it doesn't happen all that often. First down, 13-15, remaining in the first half, 14 to 7, 49ers. On first and goal from the five. Young to Floyd, touchdown. <laughs> bar none. That's what they call him. He says, I'm the best fullback in the league, bar none. Why is it that the 49ers <laughs> get three rookie starters on their football team and all three of them look like experienced veterans William Floyd Lee Woodall and Bryant Young That's well, Floyd is from uh, Florida oh. State you got uh, Woodall from Westchester State how do, you, how, how do you talk about him but Bryant Young is from Notre Dame David Griggs the linebacker from San Diego is the guy that had the coverage he's number 92 there on the left side of your screen he's going to come in but he's just late to get to William Floyd and then the tackle's not made, and hey, guess what? Three possessions, three 49er touchdowns. Three possessions, three touchdowns. Doug Bryan to kick off. To win this game, San Diego's going to need a big special teams play. On Somewhere ball, along the line. A yard into the end zone yeah. brings it back out to the 19. He's given them some big plays this yeah. season as Coleman he scored two touchdowns on returns and let's get a word from Leslie Visser Leslie 
Al, the 49ers decided to come into this game and script the first 15 plays. As you mentioned, they scored three touchdowns in those 17 plays. A lot of Ricky Waters at wideout, but for Mike Shanahan, quite a script. Quite an offensive coordinator as well, and, you know, and a big story, and we'll detail that with Mike Shanahan before this night is done. They've been doing that under this man for many years, and Bill Walsh before that, Mike Shanahan went to a, a clinic, was even in college, and that's where he picked up the routine. Mike Shanahan, a much sought after coach, and Humphreys gets sacked because Dana Stubblefield came bursting through, and Jerry Rice is going back to the locker room. They were looking at his left shoulder on the sidelines while we were away. And you remember he took the shot from Darian Gordon on that reverse a short while ago, went back to play, but now I think they want to take a better look at it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we hear anything on Jerry Rice, we'll let you know. Eight yard sack, second and 18 from the 11. And they keep it on the ground, and Natron Means probes the middle, but nothing is there for him. So third and very long. And let's go back to take a look at the hit that sends Jerry Rice back to the locker room. Remember, it was on the near sideline, and it was number 21, Darian Gordon, the cornerback for the Chargers. Here comes a hit. Jerry lowers his shoulder, but he takes the shot. He does block some of it with his left arm. And keep in mind that this is a guy that's never missed a game due to injury. We asked Jerry Rice, can he ever remember even being hurt? He said, yeah, I remember one time I had a, I had a thigh bruise in back in college. Third and <laughs> 17, and Humphreys protected well, guns it, and is fortunate it wasn't picked off by Tyrone Drakeford. That's good coverage in the secondary, out. and you're right, Al, that one could have been picked off so easily, and Stan Humphreys just trying to get rid of it, throw it out of bounds, and almost lost it. Well, three and out is... Definitely not good news for your defensive team. It puts them right back on the field. And this is a defensive football team now for San Diego that has to be completely shell shocked. And three and out deep in your own territory. Yeah. Wagner sends it down to the 43 yard line. And it's Dexter Carter coming to the outside and taken down. Good coverage on the play as the tackle is made by Shannon Mitchell. The San Francisco 49ers have been unstoppable so far. Three possessions, three touchdowns. They'll take it. San, San Diego needs somebody to step up now defensively. Junior Seau has ha hardly had his name mentioned to this point. And you I know they'll have to get away from that zone. They're laying back there very soft, and they're going to have to do something to make something happen. And it's not going to come from that bend to don't break defense. Everybody knew it coming into the game that there was no way they can play their passive defense. And Young goes deep on him right away. Again, and it's a little overthrown. Coverage was decent. John Taylor was the intended receiver, and. Steve frustrated with himself. The one thing with the 49ers offensively, I think defensively, you sit back and you're in awe of them. And granted, they do take away you being able to do some things because they they have talent all over the field, both wide receivers, the tight end, the running back. But the worst thing you can do is be passive. You can't wait for the game to happen in front of you and then hope that you make that first tackle. you got to take chances. Without taking chances, the Chargers are dead. And you cannot miss that first no, tackle. No, but they must gamble. It is second down and 10, and it's critical to stop the 49ers here. They get to stop them as McCaffrey, who's playing now because Rice is being worked on, and it is a shoulder strain. It's being iced right now in the locker room. That's why Jerry's back there. McCaffrey is in. It'll be third down and five. And here comes a monster play for San Diego's defense. Third down and five at the 49. A look into the eyes of Junior Seau. Stays back in pass protection. It's deflected and incomplete. McCaffrey couldn't hold on. Almost picked off. David Griggs was there. Mm. One that could have been caught by the 6'5 McCaffrey, but it had an awful lot on it. A very uncharacteristic of Steve Young. He just smoked that in there, and McCaffrey would have been close to the first down, but he just zipped that in there. Very difficult for McCaffrey to hold on. And we will see the first punt of the day for the 49ers. Here it is again. There's McCaffrey. Yep. The ball. He was there. It was high and behind him. It was not. It was not a very good throw by Steve Young. Klaus Wilmsmeyer has one of the cushiest jobs in America. <laughs> the punter for the 49ers. He scored more touchdowns than he's punted, right? Yeah. It's fielded at the 18-yard line by Darian Gordon. But the coverage is great. The kick pinned him against the sideline. The crowd wants a flag for a late hit. Kevin Mitchell was there for the coverage. No mark. 
Well, the Chargers did what they had to do defensively. Now let's see what they can do offensively first and 10 from the 18-yard line. They were able to stop San Francisco, and now they begin this drive with Natron Means, who's dragged down from behind. Ricky Jackson, the longtime Saint, came for a small salary, got a huge bonus when they made it to the Super Bowl and playing in the big show for the first time. Flag down. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 73, offense. After the play was over, 15-yard penalty, and the down counts. It'll be half the distance to the goal. Ooh, Second that down. Hurt. That is a, a costly one. penalty on Isaac Davis. Second and 19 now. Humphreys oh, no. going deep. The coverage is good, though. He, it looked as if somebody threw something, but it wasn't a no, flag. Threw his hat to been. Mark uh, hat, right where he might have caught the ball. Uh, Al, the your call. Your call was Humphreys going deep. Humphreys was going deep into the end zone, flat on his back, mm -hmm. courtesy of Dana Stubblefield. Stan under tremendous pressure trying to find somebody open. And even under that kind of pressure, he was very careful he was not going to turn it over. He threw that ball where only his man could take it. This way you spoke of a moment ago. And he Stubble laid it up high, and Stubblefield unloaded on him. Well, he, he beats the rookie, Isaac Davis, to the inside. Not a good series here for young Mr. Davis. Not so far. Third down and 19. Humphreys throwing out of the end zone, and it's incomplete. The Niner secondary doing a terrific job. Papuna was the intended receiver, and it's fourth down again. Ooh, risky business to Stan Humphreys. Close to a two-pointer. Had a lot of presence. Knew where he was. Was not going to throw the interception. Threw it in the direction of the receiver, and... And but, avoided the two. Boy, credit the 49ers. Stan Humphrey must have held that football for seven seconds at least and still couldn't find anybody, anybody to throw it to. What a job of coverage by the 49ers. Ryan Lowell. And that one made contact with a 49er. But look at that roll. And it will turn out to look pretty good on the stat sheet. Adam Walker was rushing the kicker and may have gotten a hand on it. But the Chargers get away with one there, despite oh. the deflection. Here's Adam Walker right here. He's going to be turned completely loose, and he comes in, and he does get a hand on the football. Unbelievably, they just let him go, and he does deflect the football, and I've never seen a deflected ball travel farther than that. 41 yards officially as William Floyd takes it down to the 46. How do you get a 41-yard punt when Amazing. it's when it's tipped? Meanwhile, Jerry Rice has come back onto the field and has come back into the game. So Rice missed a series. They iced his shoulder. Back he comes. And when Jerry was in there, the 49ers marched 59, 79, and 70 yards to their three scores. Second and seven at the 46. Nine minutes to go in the half. 21 to seven, San Francisco. Young guns it to Jones, and the tight end makes the catch at the 39-yard line, and that should be enough for a first down. Let's get the update on Jerry Rice from Leslie Visser. Al, Jerry just sat in a chair for about five or ten minutes. He had tape on him, and they put some extra padding. He says he's ready to go, Al. Okay, Jerry Rice who, well, by the time he's finished, will not only own most regular season receiving marks, but a lot of Super Bowl records as well. He's already won one Super Bowl MVP award. And was hugely instrumental in another San Francisco Super Bowl victory. From the 39-yard line, Young going for the man, and it's broken up by Darian Gordon. Boy, it was a good read and a good change at the line of scrimmage by Steve Young. And Rice splitting the coverage. The ball hanging just a little bit. And let's take a look now again. He drives it to the inside. He's set up to the inside. And Darren Gordon completely turned around, got back into it. And the second year man out of Stanford, first year pick a year ago, makes a good play. And it was a good read. He spins him clear around. And Young a little slow in getting it to him. I, I, I would have to say that when Jerry Rice spins a corner all the way around, 99 times out of 100, that's a completed pass. That ball was late getting there from Young. Second and 10, and he fires a slant over the middle. It's caught by Jerry Rice. They've run that play a million times, seemingly, with probably a 90% success rate. It, people, I don't, I don't think, realize how many of the 49er passes 
are such quick rhythm and really just five yard completions. All week long, the 49ers, uh, the Chargers rather, have had a saying, five yard pass, six yard gain. They are really emphasizing that we must make the tackle and we must make it on the spot of the reception. At times tonight, they have it. On the 27 yard line, Taylor makes the catch after Young had to check off. A nice coverage there by Harper. A perfect example of the 49er passing attack right there. It's just how many times have we seen John Taylor turn that into a big play? Of course, it begins right there with this man, Steve Young. With the, He reads it so well, and he's in such good sync with Mike Shanahan, the offensive coordinator, who is now so thoroughly familiar with this offense and what Young can do. But make no mistake about it, this is Steve Young's team. He even admitted it down here this year, this is my team. But he is so good at the reads, coming off one receiver, finding the next one. Leading the league in passing for a fourth consecutive season. Second and six. Rolling left. Oh, what a oh. move by Jerry Rice again. Takes it to the 15-yard line. That's a first down. Ran around Griggs. And what presence, too. He knew he went right into the turf, avoided taking another shot, but he also knew he had the first down. And a little moisture for the first time tonight. Well, it's late in arriving. It has been predicted all day. It's, it was raining on the west coast of Florida four or five hours ago, and they thought it would get here before now. Here's Floyd. Floyd the ball carrier. And the rookie pulls his way down to the nine-yard line. He's tackled there by Junior Seau and Stanley Richard. Floyd came out of the in, as a number one draft pick from Florida State. Rated as one of the best blockers in the collegiate game, but he also had rushed for well over 300 yards. We saw him catch a touchdown pass earlier. Well, Floyd has added such a dimension to this San Francisco offense. He brings a punishing running style and a power between the tackles. That's such a huge addition to their offense. Second and four from the nine-yard line. Ricky Waters fights his way down to the eight-yard line. He's wrapped up there by Chris Mims. The two, Floyd and Ricky Waters, have complemented each other so much. Uh, they're like a cheering squad for each other and when you talk with them they're so uh, and they want the other to do so well and yet they're the kind of player that wants the football all the time. Well, Ricky was just delighted to find a teammate who's as hyper as he is. <laughs> well, I, was, I was talking around <laughs> it. I mean you don't. <laughs> well let's face it. Ricky, I was trying to say that. <laughs> at times Ricky Waters has been over exuberant on the football field. He's cost his team but this man loves to play. He loves to win and look at it. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. Uh, George Seifert has had to reel him in at times, but Ricky Waters can play the game of football. He's it, a fine all-around back. And it was William Floyd That's who brought his head coach into the 90s, so to speak, <laughs> in the Detroit game, game number five. 49ers take a timeout here, preparatory to a third and three from the eight. Super Bowl 20. I'm, I'm glad this game's at night. I, we just don't function very well during the day. Do we? We're not day creatures. <laughs> no. George Seifert, who I think when Deion Sanders came earlier in the year, the character of this team turned around, and he had a long meeting with Deion Sanders, and that didn't go all that well, as expressed by Deion yeah. Sanders. But uh, he has become quite a fan of Sanders. Sanders is as hard a working football player as you would ever want. He works about as hard as he as he does put putting on his show for you and one of the most gifted athletes I've ever watched. Certainly, I think maybe the fastest man in this game today. And becoming the first man ever to appear in a World Series, and he played extremely well for Atlanta against Toronto a couple of years back and a Super Bowl. Third and three now after the timeout. And the Chargers blitz, but Young gets it off to Ricky Waters for the touchdown. Well, I'll tell you, the Chargers yeah. don't blitz much. They blitzed on the Jerry Rice touchdown at the very beginning of the game. They blitzed there. I mean, Steve Young with the perfect read. I don't blame them for blitzing. Uh, we talked earlier, Bill Arnsbarger can't just sit back. That is just perfect execution. Ricky Waters is what they call the hot receiver. The linebacker blitzes to his side. The man who's supposed to cover him is clear back in the end zone. Griggs comes up, but Steve Young gets it past David Griggs, right to Ricky Waters. It's just perfectly executed by the 49ers. That is why they are the best team in football. And maybe the best offensively that has ever well, been in football. There are more than just a few coaches around the NFL that think this is the finest offensive machine that's ever been assembled. 
Doug Bryan boots it through. And of course the job. What do you say? In the hands of Bill Arnsbarger, and this kind of tells it all. I mean, how do you stop all the weapons that the 49ers can present? You don't. Ryan sends it down to Andre Coleman. He brings it back out to the 25-yard line. He's tackled there by McCaffrey with four minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the first half. Steve Young at the age of 33, at the very, very top of his game, four touchdown passes and a half, tying a Super Bowl mark. Doug Williams of the Redskins in a game in 1988 following the 87 season. We got to see them both. We did. <laughs> yeah. And you know the amazing thing about that game is that was the biggest come from behind effort in Super Bowl history. Denver actually led 10 to nothing. Right. And Washington won the game 42 to 10. And incredibly Timmy Smith the running back of the Redskins was the most valuable player in that game. Right. And Ricky Sanders had an unbelievable day as Matron Means runs into a gang. Tim McDonald and others leading the charge. Well, there's something that happens to a football game late in the season, a playoff game, when you're down by this big a score emotionally, it happens on both sides of the ball. They, you can't hardly avoid this kind of a feeling. That's Junior Seau. He knows, I think, this, this game is pretty well, much gone. And on the other side of the ball, the 49ers, you can just see them. They're bouncing all over the field and they're going to attack. Well, they better get a first down. Or Steve Young's going to have a shot at five touchdown passes in a half. Second down and eight from the 27 yard line. And the catch is made by Say. And Mark Say takes it out to the 45 yard line. I want to correct myself. I misspoke when I said that Timmy Smith was the MVP. Timmy Smith had what, 205, 204, 200, 204, I believe. 204. But Doug Still Williams was the most valuable player. Mm -hmm. For those of you keeping track of the trophies at home, I want to correct myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was Timmy Smith's moment in the sun, though. He uh, switchboarded. Really lighted up, Dan. So, yep. No, I don't think it got to that point yet. Well, well, Doug had called. One fleeting moment in the sun. He was a Bobby yeah. Beathard fine. They give it to Means, and on a reverse, Sean Jefferson into San Francisco territory. And he takes it to the 46. Burton Hanks makes the tackle. Yeah! We can be accused of hyping it in this particular instance, 28 to 7. I mean, it, they lead by 21 to the Niners, but of all the teams in the league that have shown the propensity and ability to come back, as we mentioned at the very top, it's the team in charge uh, of those fellas uh, running it. Bobby well, Ross as well. They came from 18 back on opening night against Denver, 15 against Miami, 10 against Pittsburgh two weeks ago. Well, who knows? From the 46. Middle screen. Eric the enemy handles the ball for the first time in the game. And he's off to the races. And Eric the enemy is out of bounds inside the 15 at the 13 yard line. Well, how quickly we have gone from talking about Steve Young and the possibilities of a fifth touchdown pass to now we're looking at the Chargers possibly getting some points. The enemy on the. Picking up a little blitz and then releasing to the outside, getting a good block and taking it down the sidelines. Let's take a look at it. Stan Humphreys looking downfield. There's the enemy. That was a screen pass, as a matter of fact. A two man screen. He gets the block right there. And it points just, out another block and gets the first down. It's perfectly the done by the enemy when he popped Ricky Jackson. First down. Humphreys buys time. Fabulous protection. Guns it and it's broken up. Intended for Tony Martin. And Eric Davis, the only man in the Niners secondary not going to the Pro Bowl next week, breaks it up. It did not look to me like Eric Davis touched it. That, that could have been a San Diego touchdown. Second and ten. Humphreys throwing, and Mark Shea cannot come up with it. Had position, Merton Hanks was trailing him, but it's incomplete. It would have been, it would have been a great catch, but it was catchable, and that's two that appeared, even though difficult, Certainly were catchable from the arm of Stan Humphreys. Hanks back on the on the defense. He's beaten to the outside, right off the fingertips. And again, it would have been a great catch. The one that could have been caught when you're down by this many points should have been caught. You can't beat the 49ers without making some big plays. And those were two big plays that weren't made. Third and ten, and the pass is a little high, intended for Alfred Papunu, who scored the huge touchdown against Pittsburgh, and that's incomplete. Tim McDonald with the coverage. So they go from first and ten to fourth and ten, and John Carney comes in to try to kick a field goal. 
And really, that was those were some pretty good throws by Stan Humphreys uh, that come up with nothing. That last one was just a good play by Tim McDonald. But those first two passes, one of them could have been a touchdown for San Diego when you're a big underdog and you are playing somebody as good as the 49ers. You got to make big plays. 31 to have a yard shot. attempt for Carney out of Gail Gilbert's hold, and that is good. So they do come up with three. The Charger cannon goes off. 144 left in the half. And he does go yeah. Carter's way. Carter makes the catch at the 12 yard line, brings it out to the 23 yard line, where he's tackled by Eric the enemy. Well, the 49ers tonight came out roaring, scoring on their first three possessions. Then Jerry Rice was back in the locker room, and they were three and out with a punt. Rice came back in, not that he was necessarily that instrumental on the drive, but back they went again into the end zone. Four touchdown passes for Steve Young, and 28 to 10 was still a ton of time remaining, 138. Dion, right at the point of the wedge on that kickoff return by his teammate, Dexter Carter. He uh, was looking like he thought Dexter was going to run a reverse. He was so far out of it. From the 23-yard line, Young for Jones, and he makes the catch. And he's a tight end who not only goes over the middle and underneath, but deep down the side. And he gets out of bounds. It's really, you, you, sometimes you wonder if it's just, if it's fair. You split Brent Jones out all the way. He's a tight end. Ricky Waters is, is flanked out the other direction. You've got tight ends as look at him. That's where the split end or the flanker should be all the way. Well, look who's got Rice. on him, though, Don. Yeah. They're trying to cover him with David <laughs> Griggs, the linebacker. Now that's ludicrous. But it's the formation that sent the Chargers haywire because you got Jerry Rice to the inside and Jones to the outside. Year after year, they give you more looks than any yeah. team in the league. Floyd oh. makes the catch. It started with Bill Walsh. There's no question about that. They have really just kept the system in place every year since 1979. That's just a brilliant move on the part of Mike Shanahan. He knows that they're going to have linebacker coverage on Jones, so isolate him. That's, that's good stuff. 110 remaining in the half, and Rice makes the catch and steps out of bounds, making sure he had the first down. There is Mike Shanahan. I'll tell you this. He is number one on Denver's list. He is probably number one on Philadelphia's list. And if he showed any interest in the L.A., St. Louis, or wherever Rams, he'd be number one on their list. He was agent. Are you well, trying to? <laughs> I'm just telling you're you. You're making I'm some deal for it here. You what, what, and you are so right. Is. There's no question about it. Every, he is the hot item right now in coaching. Are you trying to say he's in a very enviable position? I'd like to be his agent. Second down. And the first and ten is Ricky Waters. Takes the ball down to the 29-yard line. I know one thing, though, if Mike Shanahan becomes a uh, head coach, uh, it's a return to the real world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when He's you're the offensive coordinator for the 49ers, welcome back to reality when you have to go coach somebody else. He's already been a head coach for the Raiders. Second down and six, and the pass is incomplete intended for Ricky Waters. I'm not sure that's reality. <laughs> yes. And while we're on the subject of Shanahan, the 49ers have said there is no question they want to keep him. And Carmen Policy said last night, he said, we're going to do everything we can to keep him with us. Look at that. Nine yards per play, 305 yards in the first half alone, and they still have the football. Whoa. Third down and six at the 29-yard line. 41 ticks left. Rice in motion. The fake to Waters. And then Young throws incomplete. Intended for Brent Jones a little high. Oh, that was poorly thrown by Steve Young. He jumped up in the air after he threw the ball. Jones would have been able to take it probably inside the 20 and improve the field goal range. You know, he picked up a first down, as a matter of fact. The field is starting to get a little wet from the rain. You saw Jerry Rice go in motion, and he fell flat on his face. And he was slow to get up. I'm, I'm not sure if he stretched himself, but it's uh, you got to watch this. This field is getting a little bit slick with the rain. You saw Young there. Had he been able to get that ball, and he should have, to Brent Jones, it would have been a first down. Ryan, a 47-yard field goal attempt. Wilmsmeyer puts it down, and the kick is short and bad and wide and wide. And ugly. No good. And errant. Well, again, there's a guy we talked earlier. Practice. He hasn't had a lot of really pressure-packed kicks, and I'm not sure that a 28-10 to 10 attempted field goal is pressure-packed. 
but this one was missed uh, badly. Ooh, the laces yeah. are not where you normally expect to see them, Frank. No, They're I don't know whether some some kickers <laughs> don't like that. Others uh, doesn't bother them, and uh, O'Brien, he knew he must uh, bother him. Yeah, that's that's where you uh, you poke your drive right into the woods on the right side of the fairway, and you know it the minute you strike it. Well, let's see if the Chargers, with 30 seconds and two timeouts, can work their way into field goal range as Humphreys throws. The catch is made. It's a nine yard pickup to the 46 yard line. Sean Jefferson, the receiver, and timeout is called. That took six ticks off the clock. 24 seconds remain. If they're thinking six, their kicker, John Carney, his best for the season was 50 yards. He made that a couple of times. He's right on the edge of 50. Now, does that leave San Diego with one left? One timeout remaining. Yeah. John Carney, one of the very best. He holds the record for most consecutive field goals, 29 from 1992 through the beginning of 93. That marks in jeopardy, though, when next season begins, Fouad Reves of Minnesota begins the year with 28 in a row. So Carney hopeful of getting in. Well, he's hopeful of getting in for an extra point is what he's hopeful of right now. But at least for three. Ricky Jackson asking Jerry Mark right if he'd heard about how big a bonus he got when they <laughs> won the NFC Championship game. 800 grand. 800 plus. and change. It was yeah. somewhere around 850 something. Good crew here tonight, Jerry <laughs> Mark Wright. This is his fourth Super Bowl. Guy's doing a great job. Ricky Jackson, the oldest guy in the game, will be 37 in a couple of months. And we saw him make that uh, that good play. Earlier in the second quarter, we chased it down from behind, showing a good burst. Second and one. And Humphreys throws. Harmon cannot hold on at the 49 yard line and 19 seconds remain. Tyrone Drakeford with the coverage. That ball came out of there really yeah, wobbling. Strange. It almost looked like somebody it touched that at yeah, the line yeah, of scrimmage. He got a finger on that, I think. Third and one. I don't know that that means anything. We've just seen it. Whoa. Humphreys from Martin, and he's out in front. And uh. it is broken up at the goal line Eric Davis Eric staying Davis. right with oh. him as Humphreys unloads but the ball hung and Eric was able to get back and yeah, break it that's up that's unusual and such a strong arm on the part of Humphreys are they ruling that he caught that yeah. are they saying it to him I think yeah they made if the you have possession when rolled. you go into the end zone well it, it, we, it look they're going to say this is an interception boy what a look at how he closed it down on Martin Martin is thinking six right here here comes Eric Davis. He tucks it away. If he has possession when he hits the, the ball field. was intercepted in the end zone yes. for a touchback. Well, the ball was on the far side of Eric Davis. He hit the ground and it came out. And they give him credit for the interception and the touchback. 49er balls at 20. It would be just as though you went into the end zone as a, a leaping running back landing in the end zone. The knee is down. And when he hits, the ball comes out. Well, I always thought that an interception was the same as a reception. That when oh, you he's got it away, but you've got to demonstrate yeah. control of the football. It means precious little at this point in time. Eric Davis gets the interception, and the 49ers lead by 18. Well, there's the smoke still drifting upward <laughs> from the halftime ceremonies. I suppose. Uh, Emblematic of the 49ers who are on fire in the first half and leading by a score of 28 to 10 as we get set for the second half of Super Bowl 29. And the lightning bolts right now have been reduced to a football team that, that just simply can't afford to make a mistake in the second half. They have to play air free football in an attempt to slowly crawl back into this football game. And again, a big, they'd be helped immensely by a big play on special teams. An interception of any type of a defensive score. They need some lightning to strike in their favor. A one hopper by Brian oh Andre Coleman. And he slips down at the 19 yard line. So they don't get as a flag goes down. They don't get that big special teams play. But what would help immensely obviously for San Diego is a scoring drive to open the second mm -hmm. half. And of course. Yes. We've talked about it so many times. They came from behind to beat Miami. They came from behind to beat Pittsburgh in the second Illegal half. Illegal block. Number 37. 37 on the return. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Rodney Harrison. The numbers through the first half. 304 total yards for the 49ers. 
Be a, a great game for a lot of teams, wouldn't it? But notice the time of possession is relatively equal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Super Bowl record, most yards gained in a half. Washington against Denver, the great uh, Doug Williams, Timmy Smith, Ricky Sanders game. And then the uh, 49ers here today against Miami at Stanford after the 84 season and Oakland against Minnesota in Super Bowl 11. And every one of those was a first half. Yep. Quick starts all. From the nine yard line, Natron Means up to the 15. And Means who figured to be so much a part of this game if it was close and this of course is what happens to any team when you're behind and means now uh, begins to hobble off it takes him in effect out of the game Dion pats him on the back on his way out Dion obviously delighted that he's leaving and charges opening like the two tight end so they're thinking run yep looks like he's favoring his left leg somehow he comes out, Eric the enemy comes in. It's second down and five, and they give it to Eric the enemy. He picks up three. He gets to the 18 yard line. It'll be third and a yard or two. This is the type of running attack. You see, means grabbing his left ankle, but this is the type of punishing, heavy load type running attack between the tackles that both means and the enemy are, are comfortable doing. And it's really what Bobby Beathard has tried to build with his Charger team, a big, bruising offensive line, NFC type football. Mm -hmm. Like he built with Washington, and he took the three Super Bowls, and it's not nearly as punishing with number 20 on the sidelines. Exactly right. Frank. Third down and two from the 18-yard line. Humphreys throws, and it is dropped, and it's killing him right now, the drop passes. Tony Martin, and that's been the story of Martin this season, either something like that, or a huge play and of course it was Martin who scored the winning touchdown mm -hmm. against Pittsburgh as it was also Martin who dropped the two long t passes touchdown passes against the Rams it was Martin who was plagued with the drops here in Miami for several years and it probably ultimately led for Don Shula to make the trade to San Diego Ryan Wagner to punt that was an easy pass to catch though Dexter Carter 28 yard line and he brings it back to the 38 yard line. Halftime, Bobby Ross came out. He was very upset. He said, contrasting the great offense and defense by San Francisco, that his team played that poorly. They blew assignments, they missed coverage, and he felt did not execute well. He's going to change his mass up on the defensive side to try and get better coverage on the receivers. And offensively, he's going to keep the same game plan, just better execution. Now let's go to Leslie Visser. Leslie? Lynn, they were very uh, professional, very demeanor. Only Ricky Jackson said, we're halfway there. George Seifert said, we've got to look for the long ball defensively and defend against it offensively. He said, we'll see more of Ricky Waters at receiver. All right, Leslie, and they fake it to Waters, and it's Jerry Rice. So if it's not Waters, it's Rice, or it's Taylor, or it's Jones, or it's Floyd. And they just keep on coming at you as they have against every team they have faced this season and there's well, a pass virtually impossible to defend and wait till you see the footwork by rice on the sidelines but he again it began with steve young he got the read he knew rice was going to be in single coverage and aaron gordon's pretty good man for man coverage in the coverage but he was not going to let rice beat him deep what a nice tick of the right foot by jerry rice getting it in bounds seven catches for him. ricky waters gets taken down by dennis gibson the first to meet him after a gain of one, it'll be second down and nine at the 45-yard line. Second down and nine. Gordon out and Van Horse in defensively in the secondary, and Young gets sacked back at his own 46-yard line by Ray Lee Johnson, a backup defensive end. Guy only had one and a half sacks all year long, Ray Lee Johnson, a second-year guy out of Arkansas, and there's a way to get a little pub. Eight yard sack, third and 17. They have to get to the 36th for a first down, and they get to the 32 as the catch is made for a first down at the 32 yard line by Guess who? Jerry Rice. Absolutely. And the Chargers went right back into their two man deep zone. Jerry read it beautifully coming over the middle, and Steve Young right in sync with him and hitting right in front of the. I guess, front of safety man, I, guess the, Richard. I guess the key Frank on that defense is to make sure that everything happens in front of you no matter how deep the pattern run by the opponent <laughs> Jerry Rice well you have to know all the room in the world is going to go for the yardage for the first down and that's where you lock up you don't give him 10 yards beyond that you can't Gordon back into the secondary as young scrambles 
And hits Taylor, a flag is down, another broken tackle, yet another. And it may all be moved, a flag is down back at the 15-yard line. Number seven, defense, penalties decline, first down. First down at the 17-yard line. Ricky Waters picks Waters up the about three, carrier. losing his helmet, but holding on to the football. It'll be second and seven. And Lee and Gibson and in and on the stop. 49ers, and so much was made this year about the salary cap. And the salary cap, in effect, figured to hurt teams like the 49ers and the Cowboys with the, the big payrolls. But Carmen policy to a lot of teeth gnashing and Policy is the man on the right next to Dwight Clark in the middle. Bill Walsh standing behind Eddie DeBartolo. Eddie DeBartolo on the left. A lot of teeth gnashing around the league. But Paul Tagney will kept saying, hey, look, he built a better mousetrap. Flag down. And Ricky Waters is stopped for no gain. A lot of they were drawn off. The Chargers uh, had encroached on the line of scrimmage. A lot of 49er, a lot of 49er history standing up in that booth. Mm. With Clark in the middle of yep. one of the most famous receptions. Number 91, defense, five-yard penalty, second down. Second and three, and Ricky Waters cuts it back for the touchdown. Uh, Steve Young raised his arms. He made the change at the line of scrimmage, read the defense, knew what he had to go to, knew the play he wanted, made the change, touchdown 49ers. I tell you, they're awesome. They are now playing against themselves in a way. They're playing yeah. against the greatest teams in San Francisco history. That's the only question right now. Boy, and you watch number eight direct his offense. You ask him the question, I said, what winning the Super Bowl mean to you? And he said, it would be the pinnacle. I feel like I've been climbing a mountain over the last few years. I had slide back about 10 or 15 feet, and then sometimes I felt like I was going to fall off that mountain. He says, if I get to the top, I will have reached the pinnacle of my career. Well, Bart Oates at center, Derek Deese at right guard, Jesse Sapalo at left guard, Wallace at left tackle, Bart at right tackle are kicking butt right now. Bobby Ross just finished delivering a pretty good tongue lashing to his defensive unit. There is an awful lot of football yet to be played here. Almost 24, well, there's 24 and a half minutes left to go in this football game, and defensively, the Chargers have folded up their tent and he's trying to get him to drive a few stakes Coleman. back in the ground. Now Andre Coleman takes the kickoff. Andre almost breaks it and he's taken down there by Dana Hall. Here it was. There was Ross talking to the defense. And granted they are playing a sensational football team but this is there is a lot at stake here for the for the San Diego Chargers and I'm, you know obviously I'm not talking about the outcome of this ball game but there's there's an embarrassment factor and a humiliation factor that none of these guys wants to be exposed to and how they play from here on out is going to have a lot to do with how they're judged first and ten from the 36 yard line as Natron means back in the game takes it out to the 40 yard line he is stopped there by Ken Norton who's attempting to become the first man ever to play on three consecutive Super Bowl winning teams twice a Cowboy and now a 49er you know one of the interesting things that happened last year to the 49ers when they lost the NFC championship game it meant that George Seifert was coach of the Pro Bowl team and he went to Hawaii and he had a long talk with Ken Norton Jr. and he talked with Ricky Jackson he talked to Richard Dent and all of a sudden they became 49ers he got to know them and he saw how they could fit into the 49ers scheme of things second down and six and the catch is made oh, by Alfred Papuno a great catch skirting the sideline out of bounds at the 36 yard line Papuno, the hero of the Pittsburgh Steeler game with his 43 yard touchdown reception and they like to hide him and then kind of leak him out you know what's kind of been lost in this game is is how well I think Stan Humphreys is throwing the football mm -hmm. that, that has been thrown better. No that's just perfect and he has thrown the ball well he's put the ball on the hands of a lot of receivers and, and the balls have been dropped. A couple of critical drops yeah. they're going to put it back in the game. Natron Means picks up three to the 30 three yard line he's tackled there by Norton. I don't mean to demean anyone but Sean Jefferson and Mark Say and Dwayne Young are not John Taylor Jerry Rice and Brent Jones. And this man has got a tremendous arm. He's got a great heart. One of Bobby 
Beathard's draft picks for the Washington Redskins. Got him, I think, what, in the fourth round or third round of several years ago and traded for him in 92. And he will be a, a good quarterback for the Chargers for a long time to come. A couple old Saints locked up here. Stan Brock and Ricky Jackson. Second and seven. Humphreys guns oh. one, and that's incomplete at the 25-yard line, a little bit behind. Mark Say. You know, you were talking about the receivers not being comparable to the 49ers, Frank. That was one of the questions about the Chargers coming into the year as well. Anthony Miller was their leading receiver last year and a good one. He opted to go to Denver. They lost their leading receiver and their leading rusher, Marion Butts. Both left, and this team winds up going to the Super Bowl. Mark Say had not caught an NFL pass. The wide receiver for the San Diego Chargers. And this year, he bought 58. Third down and seven. Good protection. He guns it to the 27, and it's incomplete. And again, a drop ball. Sean Jefferson. Hit as the ball gets there, and it's fourth down. Now, we talked about a four-down series when you're 35 to 10, even in the th halfway through the third quarter. Even though you need six yards, you're going to go for it. Seven yards, whatever it is, you're going to go. And good hit by another Pro Bowl bound. 49er Tim McDonald fourth and seven down by 25 they go for it as Humphreys takes a deep drop and then throws incomplete but a flag comes down two receivers and two defenders in the area Martin is saying is Eric Davis pushing off him well Eric Davis is the guy that nearly intercepted the ball 49ers are saying will decline in his offense number 82 Offense penalties decline first down That's mark say and the charger wide receivers are Taking turns being involved in plays that are not helping their ball club Here is the fourth down play mark say is number 82 watch his left hand here and how he gets it on the face mask You see it on the face mask there of tyrone drakeford and that's what really draws the attention of the officials. Granted, Drakeford has his arms wrapped around him as well, but it was, I think, the fact that Say led with his arms first and then got the left hand up on the face mat that brought that flag. And William Floyd is the recipient of this Steve Young pass for a nine-yard game. Meanwhile, you saw Ross, how angry he was before. How about Natron Means while we were away for a commercial? Here was his act. And just keep in mind, this is a 22-year-old youngster who Obviously has got a lot of spirit a lot of the pride And he is chewing on some pretty big people well, those are the rest of his offensive teammates and Frustration is certainly Going to boil over with the Chargers. They are not In a spot that anybody would want to be in right now second and one at the 43 Whoa. Boy Close to a first. You know, the Chargers came in in a situation, a lot of teams who get to big games, whether it's the Stanley Cup Finals, World Series, or the Super Bowl, and are not expected to be there, everybody says, well, isn't it good enough? I mean, isn't it good enough to be? And you try to convince yourself, no, it's not. But then in retrospect, you begin to think in the offseason, you know what? We were just happy to be there. Yep. Well, it's, it's how you start the season. The San Francisco 49ers started the season and in their mind the end of their successful season was winning this game. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think the San Diego Chargers looked that far ahead well, nor yeah. should they have because it's just that would have right. been really uh, naive and I think a little over realistic on their part. Young wrapped up at the 40 yard line Junior Seau. Which, you know, Al, you mentioned Dallas and San Francisco. You know, there are people out there who say it's time to abandon the conference matchup in the Super Bowl and go to some sort of a seeding system where you seed the teams. Uh, if 12 are in the playoffs, you seed them 1 through 12. And, and obviously this year, I think it would have been a no-brainer that Dallas and San Francisco would have been the number one and number two seeds in opposite brackets. Third down and 14. Don't look for it coming to the no. NFL anytime soon. Young. Throwing and everybody looking for a flag. Oh, yeah. And when Jerry Rice turns around like that, it's a guaranteed flag. <laughs> and That's Darian, Darian Gordon. Gordon. He's yeah. grabbing the receiver, Jerry Rice. 
Rice trying to run a fly and Steve Young trying to get in between the zone. And Darren Gordon suspected he might and he grabbed him. Defense, first down. Here he is on the outside. Actually, he's locked up man for man. You can't touch him after five yards. Can't do it. Just can't do it, no matter how much you want to. No matter how much you need to. <laughs> you just can't. 22 yard penalty. 541 left in the third. San Francisco leading 35 10. First down, 49 is at the 38 yard line. Singled in motion. Waters swinging to the outside, and the rookie picks up a first down. Derek Deese with the block. Darren Carrington with the tackle. Oh, and Derek Deese has meant so much to these 49ers. They struggled in the early part of the season. And one of the main reasons they had so many of their offensive linemen who were hurt when Tam went down. Derek Deese came off the bench and has filled in ever since the second game. Good lead block job. on this play by Derek Deese, the right guard. And one of the things the 49ers as an offensive line do so well is that they get their linemen out in front of plays that are around the corner outside the perimeter of where you would think offensive linemen in today's game can get to. That's that's how well these guys run. Here's Waters and he's taken down by Sean Lee. Well, they don't have anyone that starts in that offensive line over 280 pounds. Harris Barton may be right around there but but they are quick and they get in and they tie up the legs and make things happen. They had a good look there at Ralph Tam who actually was the starter at right guard this year and nursed a foot injury that caused him to miss okay. most of the season. Uh, a question will be Bart Oates and his future with the 49ers and if he comes back to this team next year and what kind of shuffling happens around the inside of that line. Sapolo moved from center to guard and made the Pro Bowl in another position. Second and ten. Young on the run and steps out of bounds at the 12 yard line. A first down. And if Bart Oates is on his way to another Super yeah. Bowl. <laughs> and he's on his way to getting his third Super Bowl ring. Well, he like any. Picked any up a pair with the New York Giants. Like a lot of teams, they'll have to do some retooling, but they're in pretty good shape. A lot of guys with long term contracts, and they're all set. Oates, of course, uh, one of those fellows who's at an age where, you know, you begin to wonder, do we look for a replacement for him? Well, and he ha also, Bart is one of those guys that you don't know if he's going to continue to play because he has a lot of options. He's a lawyer and practices law yeah. and is in New Jersey. He's got a lovely family, and you don't know what he's going to do. Here's Waters. Waters, the ball carry. And he's <laughs> taken out of bounds. Takes a shot at Darian Gordon. Say so, yeah, helping to escort him. He's trying to become the first man, could become the first man in history to score four touchdowns in a Super Bowl game. Roger Craig scored three against Miami in Super Bowl 19, and then Jerry Rice in Super Bowl 24 with three, and Waters tonight. On that graphic, I, th I think we should use Roman numerals instead of the threes over there. We got all the Roman numerals on the left. I think we need some Roman numerals over there on the right. Oh, man. This is the Super Bowl. Only Roman numerals are acceptable here. Dexter Carter comes in. He too works well out of the backfield as the receivers coming in for Ricky Waters. Young on second and 13. John Taylor gets hit by Gordon as the pass comes into his territory. Ray Lee Johnson who had the sack earlier. Decky Young. And one of the few times tonight that this man Steve Young has been pressured we've seen it's uh, I think it's about the only time tonight that we have seen both the quarterback and the receiver dropped on the same play third and 13 at the 15 after the timeout Young throws Jerry Rice touchdown <laughs> <laughs> what a pair Jerry landed awkwardly yeah. in the end zone he looked like he uh, took a shot on the left side again when he went down from Sean Van Horst. Yeah. Jerry Rice just taking it downfield, planting and driving off the left foot. Steve Young drilling it in. I think Steve Young walking around, uh, he's a human exclamation point with that score that puts the 49ers, the 49ers into the 40s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On their way to 49, he's the left 42 in a second. Doug Bryan for the point after. And five Lombardi trophies will belong to the 49ers mm -hmm. more than anybody else. Steve Young is now 22 of 30 for 316 yards and five touchdown passes. 
Rice, nine receptions. And if you're wondering, zero interceptions. Steve Young on his way to a rating of about 300. Look at this move, right <laughs> behind a little move behind another receiver. And again, Richard playing deep in the end zone. That's not a, a good way to get into the coverage. You know, Jerry started to glide a little bit there when he went into the end zone. He actually started to slow down and took kind of an awkward shot. Right here, I think Jerry's just not going all out and lands a little bit awkwardly. I'm glad that it touched. I'm glad Jerry Rice has scored in this ball game because he is in many ways the heart and soul of this football team in the way he works the way he approaches practice he I think as much as anybody if not more than anybody personifies the San Francisco 49 here's Andre Coleman taking off he gets by the kicker Brian he's being chased by Toy Cook and Andre right. Coleman traced now by Drakeford scores a touchdown 98 yards for Coleman. Well, we knew they had special team explosiveness demonstrated there by Coleman, who didn't even have to break a tackle, did he? I'm not sure a 49er ever touched him. That's Andre Coleman, not Darian Gordon, who has returned kicks for touchdowns this year for the San Diego Chargers. Remember the last time these two teams played Doug Bryan made a sliding whiplash kick tackle. He's confronted right here. <laughs> but forget it. <laughs> Went the conventional way and didn't get it done. <laughs> Coleman returned two kickoffs for touchdowns this season. That ties a Super Bowl record. Fulton Walker of Miami against Washington in 1983, 98 yards for a touchdown. And the Chargers, who are now down 42 to 16, will line up. For two, so another Super Bowl first. First time a two point conversion has ever been attempted. And Humphreys throws, and let it be duly noted that Mark Shea caught a Humphreys pass for a deuce. Goes in the record books. Yep. To make it 42 to 18. What an exciting play that is with the new rule this year, and we saw so many more of them return for. Touchdowns and big yardage. Well, the kickoff yeah. return, in my mind, has always been one of the more exciting plays of the game. And anything you can do to incorporate more of them into a ball game, why not? Well, John Carney to kick off. 49ers have five men up uh, 10 yards from the line of scrimmage just in case. But he sends it down to the 19 yard line. And it is taken there by Dexter Carter. Who goes down. At the 27. Well, Steve Young already five touchdown passes. And here he comes with almost 18 minutes remaining in the game. Young throws underneath, and John Taylor can't hold on. Briggs was uh, covering, and Steve Young, who was shaken up on the last series, is bringing his right elbow hey, he's and wrist. Grabbing the Right forearm, of course, you know, he's left handed. That's his non throwing arm, but still, he's got a little blood there, a little scrape on the right on the wrist. Let's see if we can see anything here. I think it happened before. No, he oh, there it is. Right there. A helmet right on the outside of his hand, right at the wrist area. Second and 10 at the 28 yard line. And Steve gets taken down, and again, it is Ray Lee Johnson. Ray Lee, number two. Tough Tough that he had the entire regular season. Just a second year guy gets his second sack. Of course, that's a sack that comes about because Steve doesn't find anything downfield, tries to move. Looks like he's about to take off again. He's flushed from the pocket in one direction. And good work by the front four of the Chargers. Third down and 13 at the 25 yard line. 49ers on top, 42 to 18. Young throws, Waters makes the catch, and he is tackled, coming up to make the stop, the rookie Willie Clark. Well, at least the Chargers have a mini pulse right now. And the crowd is getting into yep. it. Super Bowl crowds are kind of different. You don't have a hometown crowd to come up with the big noise for you. People have traveled from all over, many of them, of course, from California with the two California teams, but it is a different crowd. This is not the same volume. 
Fine open field tackle by the rookie from Notre Dame. A third round pick this year. Klaus Wilmsmeyer, his second punt of the game. And Darian Gordon is one of the more accomplished punt return men in the NFL. He's run two back four yeah. touchdowns this season. He can make something happen. 190 and 175 yards. Fair catch is called for and made at the 28-yard line. So Wilmsmeyer does his job, a 44-yard boot and no return with a minute and 22 left in the third. Well, here are the Chargers at the 28-yard line, first and 10. And it's incomplete as he throws into double coverage. Hanks was there along with McDonald on a pass intended for Sean Jefferson. Second down. Uh, once again, there, I'm sure, was a temptation on the part of Stan Humphreys to try to go deep to Tony Martin, who was locked up 101 on Deion Saunders. And again, what Sanders will do for you, you can leave him on man-for-man -man coverage, and he's going to lock up again on Martin. And you get to roll the other way and double cover both the tight end and the wide receiver. He lets you do a lot of things. Deion Sanders. 49ers with a 4-1-6 defense. Six defensive backs here. And the catch is made by Sean Jefferson up at the 34-yard line. Tackled by Eric Davis. Once again, Sanders one-on-one -on, -one on Tony Martin. But Humphreys doesn't go there. He knew it was single coverage. He came to the opposite side of the field. And there was double coverage on Jefferson. Third and four. Catch is made by Alfred Papuno, but he is stopped at the 37-yard line by Tyrone Drakeford. And is a little short of the first down. Boy, that was a good hit by Drakeford on a much bigger man. Papuno, 265 pounds. Drakeford, a svelte 185. That was a good hard hit. And the Chargers will go for it here. Fourth and one. They have to. But only 25 seconds left in the third, 42 to 18. They're trying to stay in the game, but they have to convert right here. Natron Means is the tailback. They give it to him. Nothing there, so he has to come back the other way. Humphreys blocks McDonald, but then Hanks comes up from the secondary, and Means is taken down. And you credit all of that, all of that to Tyrone Drakeford and the hit he puts on Alfred Papunu bringing up this fourth down. Now that was a, a play where everybody in the 49er de defense was involved, but it's never it never comes about if it's not for Drakeford said on Papunu. And Merton Hanks as Means tried to swing it out to the left. There's but a good blow delivered there by Lee Woodall, one of the rookie starters that we yeah. talked about. Now watch Hanks playing it so well. Lee Woodall, you named him Frank. Excellent shedding of the block at the point of attack. Yep. He broke the play up, did Woodall, because that's where Means wanted to go. And after that, it was all improvisation. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. And it is knocked oh, oh. down by Leslie O'Neill, intended for Ted Popson. Now that that would have been fun if, if, if Leslie would have caught that. That would have been a one-on-one -on -one with Leslie and Steve Young. That's a play where O'Neill's not blocked. He's left alone on the backside. It's up to the quarterback to get it past him. Wesley O'Neill, one of the fine defensive ends in the game, had none of it. Steve Young comes into the huddle now and he looks around. I think probably with Mike Shanahan, he's talked to. He said, who haven't we got into this game tonight? Let's get him into it. Second and 10 at the 32-yard line. Ricky Waters swings the outside and is out of bounds. A little short of the first down as time expires in the third quarter. Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl from Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami. The San Francisco 49ers 15 minutes away from an unprecedented fifth Super Bowl win. Third down and two as play begins in the fourth quarter. Steve Young, who's already thrown five touchdown passes, gives the ball to Ricky Waters inside the 20 and out of bounds at the 11-yard line. So typical of the way that the evening has gone for San Diego. You see Junior Seo, who comes on an inside blitz, and Ricky Waters takes it to the outside. This very familiar-looking play, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it just it's typical of what's happened all night tonight. San Francisco has just literally had their way with San Diego any which way they wanted to. If they have one problem, you pointed out, they're a little, they're a little fatigued. It's very humid here. It's about 80 degrees at the start of the game. 
And with the 49ers, they do a lot of pulling their offensive line. It's hard work tonight. I'll guarantee you that San Diego is a lot more tired right now than it's San They're going to feel it a lot more. You yeah. know that. Ricky Waters picks up about four. Well, you know, we so we opened up our Monday night schedule this year with the 49ers against the Raiders, and everybody thought the Raiders were maybe the best team in the AFC, certainly one of the two or three best. The Niners looked fabulous that night. Hit a bump the next week, losing to Kansas City, and then, you know, again, that crazy game against Philadelphia, but outside of that, they have been on an incredible roll this year. And then, uh, as we talked earlier, the next week coming back and winning 27-21 against Detroit after being down by 14, and they never looked back since then. Young to Rice, and that's incomplete against Steve Young. With a six touchdown pass, if it happens, would be the first in history to accomplish that, and that would really be the exclamation mark to this incredible season. Over 170 countries looking in tonight, many of them broadcasting in their own language, and it's like a Tower of Babel almost up here as we walk along the press box with the foreign languages that are the broadcasting being here. Rice making the catch, stretching and reaching touchdown San Francisco. A clinic. And I think Jerry is saying, don't hold me up yet. He's, there he is. Good. I thought for a minute that he was a little banged up. The slant. <laughs> and I believe How many times have we seen that? that's the record for Steve Young, breaking the record of Joe Montana in the Super Bowl. Wow. What do you say? Look at the little move to the outside. So familiar. Breaking it back to the inside. Steve Young. Right there with the football. Dwayne Harper, the victim. Oh, that's a beautiful look, guys. Beautiful look. Spiral on the ball, down low. Harper has no play on it whatsoever. Rice, a big receiver. You know, for a great player, this is tough to take. And Junior Seau is a great football player. Yes, sir. One of the best to ever play that position. Almost literally taken out of tonight's game. Ryan, kick Ryan kicks off, fielded up at the 13-yard line. Here's Coleman, who's already run one back 98 for a touchdown. Out to the 38-yard line. He's tackled there by Adam Walker. Elvis Gerbach is warming up on the 49ers sideline. From the 38-yard line, Humphreys throws. Ronnie Harmon makes the catch. And he's tackled there by Eric Davis. So the 49ers, five Super Bowl victories after tonight in five appearances. Twice they beat it in Cincinnati, once they took care of Miami, once Denver, and now on their way to disposing of San Diego as Humphreys throws incomplete. Fine coverage once again. Stan Humphreys having, having time to throw the ball and just good coverage downfield. Well, one of the things we promised Dwight Clark, uh, Al, down on the field before the game was that we would compare this edition of the San Francisco 49ers to some of those great ones back in the early and mid-80s that he played on. And, uh, of course, it's all speculative, but, wow, what a collection this, this group here is. Pretty tough. Third down and five. And the catch is made up at the 49-yard line. That should be a first down with forward progress. Ronnie Harmon. Most people, I think, feel of all the teams, the 84 team. That was the 18-1 team. Right. right. They only they lost to Pittsburgh in the regular season. Rolled through the playoffs. There it is. Uh, most points in one postseason. The Niners have just eclipsed that mark. Their 89 team with 126, and Dallas in 92 is third. Humphreys airs it out and out of bounds. Sean Jefferson couldn't hold it, and he was out anyway. And Humphreys is down and having a hard time getting up. Ankle or knee, grabbing on his left leg. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, he got stretched out. Yeah, there you can see that's Bryant Young rolling up the back of the legs of Stan Humphreys. And when Stan Humphreys leaves a football game, you know he is hurt. This guy has a pain threshold that eclipses most normal human beings. This is a tough guy. So here is Gail Gilbert, second down and 10 at the 50-yard line, 12.34 remaining. 49 to 18, 49ers. And Dan, we started to talk about that, that 84 team right. generally recognized as the best until now. Gail Gilbert, only three starts in an NFL career that's spanned nine years. Still behind 
Jim Kelly and Frank Reich. Buffalo. Wolver starts to slip, but what a way to begin. Takes it down to the 43 yard line on an improvisation move, working on Humphreys. Steve Young and Jerry Rice keynoting this team, the 84 team, of course, with Montana, the emerging Roger Craig. Ronnie White Lott. Clark. Yep, Ronnie Lott. Third down and three. Say, pushed out of bounds. Their other championship, their first one was one that came out of nowhere in Bill Walsh's third year to beat Cincinnati. Then the 84 team. The 88 team was an interesting team. They were six and five at one point that season, but roared at the end and won. And the 89 team was Seifert's first year, and they uh, destroyed the Broncos in the Super Bowl. And the 90 team was a great team as well. They came within uh, a Roger Craig fumble and a Matt Barr field goal of going to a Super Bowl. Instead, it was the Giants who went on to beat Buffalo. None of them were chopped liver. No. Harmon. Whoa. Whoa. Nice little piece of athleticism there by Tyrone Drakeford. <laughs> he did a nice job of keeping Harmon on his feet and then letting go at the last minute. And Tap dancing right over the top of the bench. Don't try that in your living room. Right, unless, very interesting. Unless you're Edwin Moses. Yeah, very, there it is Look again. The, watch Drakeford go over the top of that thing. Good move. I guess. I have to say, I find it interesting <laughs> that they have not gone at Deion Sanders as they said they would all week long. They have avoided him with the exception of a couple of plays in the first quarter. Second and ten, flags all over the joint. Well, there were multiple 49ers on San Diego's side of the ball. Offside, number 92, defense. Five-yard penalty, second down. They were in kind of a rainbow formation. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Things change I, dramatically. When you take your regular I, quarterback who takes all the snaps and practice and has played in all the games, you take him out of there, and there's your rainbow. Yeah. This. Yeah. I don't think Jerry Mark Wright and the boys have, I don't think they have the heart to throw many flags at San Diego right, right now. Remember, remember, you need at least seven guys on the line of scrimmage. Here's Harmon taking it down to the 10 yard line. Tackled by McDonald. Honey Harmon, born in Bayside, Queens, in New York, and still lives there. One of the fine receivers out of the backfield of Whoa. the NFL. Up 58 game. this season, but geez, the two previous seasons, he had 73 and 79 mm -hmm. catches. Humphreys throws, Harmon. Harmon's brother, Derek, yes, he's out of bounds. The play is dead at the seven. His brother, Derek, played for the 49ers. Ahmed, 1984 yeah, team. A Super Bowl, right? Gilbert throws, and at the goal line, it is Tyrone Drake breaking it up, intended for Alfred Papuna. A good look at the Natron bomb. You don't mean that he bombed, but no. that's what they call it. No, that's what they call it. Third down and six from the seven-yard line. Gilbert throws, and that's broken up. <laughs> and uh, they just they come out of everywhere. Here's Dion. That's about the only thing missing tonight is Dion taking one of those guys and going about 95 yards with it. Dion, just with a little mini dance step, a couple of mincing steps right mm -hmm. there. Charles Mincy? <laughs> right. Look, he, he had a pretty good play on this. Read it well. Quickly closes. Yeah, that's what's extraordinary. Don't be confused about that right hand across to the back. That was holding in after. The, oh, I think that was after the play. Frank, I'll finish my own sentences. Thank you. Fourth down and six. And Gilbert flips one, and that is picked off. And why not? What's a Super Bowl without a Deion Sanders interception? And then Ronnie Harmon comes in and bangs into the turf at the 11-yard line. Oh, and Ronnie Harmon is barking at him also. Well, that's one way for Deion to get hit. That's <laughs> and Dion points out to Ronnie. Yeah. Look at the scoreboard. Not Ronnie. being a very good sportsman is Dion Sanders. <laughs> That's the ultimate cruel cut on the field is telling your opponent to take a look at the scoreboard. Here's William Floyd taking it to the 20. <laughs> William Floyd trying to become the first guy to play on a national championship team and then start for a Super Bowl winner in back to back years since Tony Dorsett who played at Pitt. 
and then went to the Super Bowl as a starter in his rookie season with the well, Cowboys. He just hits so well into this 49er attack. He's a superb blocker, really a gifted blocker, but more than that, he can run the football, and Jerry Rice is going to come off. He is going to get an ovation. What Seifert's going to do is bring out his guys one by one, if he can, and let them hear it from the crowd. Again, this is a Super Bowl crowd. It's different than yep. it would be. Yeah. Here's Floyd in San Francisco taking it up to the 26 yard line. Yeah, and he'll do it to Steve Young here before long. If you take uh, those numbers and factor in Jerry's game back in December against the Chargers where he had 12 receptions he's for 140 a, something. He's got a mile. Right. He's Steve Young at the age of 33 capping his brilliant season. Steve the backup to Montana so he has a couple of rings in fact Young did play in the Super Bowl following the 89 season. But it's a little different tonight. Yes sir. First and ten at the 26 yard line and they give it to Floyd. Tackled by David Griggs. You look at the 49ers and and so much has been made of George Seifert and Carmen Policy and Eddie DeBartolo and their their handling of free agency. How about the way they've handled their draft. You, you think about this as a team built of just free agents. But to think that they have three rookie starters on this football team when you think of Rice John Taylor who's getting to come out of the game Steve Young and, and all of these veterans but three rookie starters all highly productive and William Floyd Bryant Young and Lee Woodall it's a, it's a perfect meld of, of, of youth of, of veterans of high priced and high profile free agents. And this is this is one of the best marriages of talent I have ever seen and, and not a bad run of luck either Lee Woodall was drafted as a safety out of Westchester State and now here's Deion Deion comes in on offense. Uh, uh, here we go. I think if they go to him and it's one of the things they worked on is uh, what do you think? work out of a slot. Yeah. What do you think Bobby Ross's opinion is of this right uh, about now. <laughs> I bet you his blood pressure just went up a few. It's third and 13 Sanders. Oh, was oh right. no. Double covered and is incomplete at the 38 yard line. He Stanley went by Richards back there. He him. went by Darian Gordon like Gordon was going backwards. Stanley Richard though roaming free at free safety had that spotted all the way. Oh, but look at Gordon. Gordon just lets him go. Right here Dion is four yards downfield from Darian Gordon. Hey, Richard coming over had the inside coverage. And Gordon the outside, but he Richard got separated there. from Gordon. You know Gordon. what? Richard got there before the ball. He timed that pretty well, but he actually hit Dion before the football arrived. They're not going to let Dion come down there all alone. Wilms Myers punt dropped by Gordon, fumbled again. The ball is loose, and the Chargers are able to recover at the 28-yard line. Lewis Bush with the recovery. You know, we were talking about the Niners and keeping their team together, and they have a lot of their key people under contract. Sanders signed a one-year deal. Carmen Policy said, we want to keep him, and he wants us to find a way to keep him next year. He loves the Bay Area. His endorsements are worth more. If he plays with the 49ers, he could be back. Harmon. And one way they may keep him is uh, to keep him interested in getting in occasionally on offense as he did just there before the break second down and 10 at the 28 yard line Humphreys back in Humphreys going deep and that's picked off by Toy Cook the former Saint Boy, did he time that beautiful. 28 yard line beautifully timed by the veteran from Stanford free agent from New Orleans <laughs> And well, we could use a little less of this. Well, I, I, seven years you toil in New Orleans, and 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 here you get your shot at the big, at the big brass ring. And I, I I'm not going to blame Toy Cook for being a little over exuberant. And it's a pretty nice play. And uh, this is uh, a guy, seven years down there, one year here in San Francisco. He's got a little let loose. Go ahead, yeah, blow like it off. I just kind of like what Steve Young did. Six <laughs> touchdown passes and 
and he had kind of gracefully rice 149 yards 10 receptions three touchdowns pretty well, classic toy taking his uh, his bows in front of a crowd that's about uh, a third of what it was yeah. during the uh, rest of the game as Ricky Waters swings to the outside Mr. and Mrs. Grit Young Steve's parents still like their home in Greenwich Connecticut <laughs> where Steve played high school for the Greenwich Cardinals yeah. under Mike Renato and I think going to see Steve coming out of the game. Here he comes. Here he comes. They still love him in their hometown, too. You know what? You like this guy in anybody's town. It's Class hard all the way. It's hard to dislike him in San Diego. Second and 12, and Floyd up to the 31 yard line, tackled by O'Neill. I'm sure there's. It's, you know, it's begrudging, but mm. even if you're a Charger fan, you have to admire greatness, even if it's the opponent. Third down and seven at the 31. Now on the score back in the game. And that's incomplete intended for Singleton. Steve Young, who characterized his battle to the top as climbing a mountain, and, and there he has reached the pinnacle. And he's got his arm around Ed DeBartolo, who's had to fight through the death of his father not long ago. The man who bought this franchise, and uh, how sweet this must be for Eddie, given uh, the recent death of his father. This has to be especially sweet for Ed DeBartolo. And boy, talk about a couple of bank breakers. <laughs> Eddie's got a lot of bank to break. Yeah, he does. And can they mess up a cap? At the 32-yard line, Darian Gordon brings it back to the 35-yard line. Interesting thing, though, Al, you touched on something earlier that because of the way they structured, the way they hired the players, and the way they brought them in, that <laughs> next year, with all the bonuses kicking in, they're still not going to be that far over the cap. No, people keep talking about this team mortgaging the future. Carmen Policy and Eddie DeBartolo dispute that. They, they made what they felt were very rational decisions. What I wouldn't give to know the feeling. Hmm. For those of you that have never played in a Super Bowl, and I'm one of you, boy, that must be something else. That has got to be great. Humphreys throwing, and the catch is made. Up at the 41 yard line, Mark Shea. Yeah. All right. Jackie Rice, Jerry's wife. Take your bow. Yep. A little more jewelry <laughs> coming into that safe deposit yeah. box at the yeah. uh, yeah, beautiful Rice lady. Mance. Your guy is the best. End of his 10th season in the league, and he's, he, he's never been better. And he's such a professional. That's, yeah. that's the beauty of Jerry Rice. Nobody on this Just team to this day, and he is in his 10th year for concluding it, works as hard as Jerry Rice. Look at and this. that sets the standard for all of them. As Beautiful shot. Up by number 36, There's a lot of good things in sports. It's unfortunate in one respect that this type of a celebration has to come at somebody's expense. And tonight that that bill was paid by the by the San Diego Chargers. Third and three. Yeah. Albert Caputo makes the catch. Jerry Rice and he has said uh, he would love to own all of the records and, and if he stays around for three or four or five more years he will not only own them he like Gretzky and hockey will just obliterate every record as you look at some of the marks. Well you see he's a hundred suit of he's a hundred and fourteen behind he had hundred and twelve receptions this year but so everybody's going to get making more receptions with these new rules and well, the records will be much more vulnerable. Humphreys deep to deep intended for Sean Jefferson. I suggested that to him and for you, Al and Dan heard what he said. He's not worried about that at all. By the way, I asked him the other day, and you guys were there, and I said, who's the, the best cover corner you have faced <laughs> in 10 years? He said, oh, yeah. Dion. <laughs> Darn right. Second and 10 as Humphreys guns one to the 43-yard line, and it's caught there by Tony Martin. And uh, Dwight Clark came down and gave George Seifert a new jacket, a jacket that uh, already signifies that the 49ers are the Super Bowl champions. George, there's still three minutes left yeah, in this ball. Right. <laughs> three ten. Pretty bold statement. Ooh. 
Tim Harris comes in for the sack. There's Norton, who will become the first to win three Super Bowls. No teams won three in a row, but there's a guy who has played on three Super Bowl champions in successive seasons. Ken well, Norton. Another sack for Harris. He's had a great playoff. Had fed yeah, four I mean, in yeah. the previous two games. Now a fifth and playoff Stan, sack. And Stan Humphreys is taking a beating in there and still giving it the old All-American try. And demonstrates it there with a completion for a first down. Mark Say makes the catch. Clock ticking down at 240. You know, Stan's hobbling up to the line of scrimmage. He is, he is hurt, but Boy, you got to admire his grittiness and, and stay with itness. 49 to 18. And <laughs> wide open. We cut away from the plays to see George Seifert taking his bath as Tony Martin There's makes the St. <laughs> George Seifert with his <laughs> to the accompaniment of the Charger. And I think, cannon and I think George is saying, what's that cannon going off for? Yeah. His brand new jacket. I don't know that George is even aware of the fact that San Diego scored a touchdown. Right. Yet. <laughs> you know, he, he may not be too thrilled when he wipes off those glasses and find out that they scored. And George Seifert changed a great deal with this ball club this year. Going all the way back to Detroit as we look at the touchdown. Stan Humphreys to, to Tony Martin. But in that Detroit game when Young... William Floyd came out and said, come on, this is the 90s, George. That changed things a lot for this team. Here's Humphreys looking for two. And again, he's successful on a two-point conversion. And there's uh -huh. Alfred Papunu and his coconut drink. Yep. Well, now they're, down to, now they're down to two scores, three scores, four scores. Who cares how many scores? They'll try an onside kick for sure now. Junior Sala, there's no question that it hurts. It's... Not a, a good performance by the San Diego Chargers, but uh, let's face it, when they look back upon this year, the perspective of the season, they went much further than almost anybody anticipated and at least won the AFC for the first time in the long history of the Chargers as the onside kick is fielded by Ed McCaffrey and taken there. I'm not that good a lip reader, but I think one of the things Deion Sanders said was, I love you, Mama. Well, a lot of records have fallen tonight, and we now have a mark for most points in a game. Both teams, 75 tonight. Dallas against Buffalo in a Dallas route a couple of years back. The old mark, 69. And Pittsburgh, Dallas, that was the 35 31 game. Of course, if it was going to be 78 points, I would have preferred 38 37. <laughs> You, you would have had the teacher say, see me. That's, that adds up to 75. Oh, I thought that's what it was. That's right. That is what it is. You're right. Oh, the, no. Sorry about that. You go see the no, teacher, you're right. Al. You're right at this point. You go put on the dunce cap and stand oh, in the corner. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ed DeBartolo, he's going to put on a cap, and it's not going to be a dunce cap. They're going to take a victory lap here. The 49ers for the fifth time. They move to the head of the class. <laughs> Al and I go see the teacher, That's but right. the 49ers definitely go to the head of the class. <laughs> Dexter Carter. <laughs> Tackle of the 48 by Junior Seau. Class, class, class. Two minutes to go. The 49ers on top, 49 to 26. Bill Musgrave comes into the game on third and 24 as George Seifert's going to let every guy on the roster have a chance to say he played in a Super Bowl. The winningest coach percentage-wise in the history of this game. And I hope he gets his due. Well, there's a good-looking ball. Wilms Meyer, and that's fair caught at the seven-yard line by Darian Gordon. Bobby Ross, who's been successful wherever he's coached, There'll be another day. He is now finishing his third season with the Chargers. Had a remarkable 11 and 5 in his first year, and last year lost a lot of players. Slipped to 8 and 8. This year, nobody gave them a shot to go anywhere. They lost their leading receiver, their leading rusher. Revamped their entire defense behind this man, Junior Seau, and yet they pull together another 11 and 5 season. He'll take it and build on it. 
a pretty good organization. One of the question marks will be defensive coordinator Bill Lawrence Parker. Will he choose to continue? This is his option, according to Bobby Ross. 49ers leading by 23. As Humphreys throws, the catcher's made. And to the 21-yard line goes Mark Say. And that's a first down with a minute and 28 ticking down. As Bill Arnsparger, the defensive architect for five different Super Bowls, two of them, the great Super Bowl for Miami in 72 and 73, went on to be head coach of the Giants, 74, 75, fired there in 76, was an athletic director at LSU when he decided he wanted to get back into coaching two years ago. Humphreys and the catch is made by Tony Martin. Up at the, or is he? No, it's, he's out of bounds, was Martin. Incomplete, second down. The thing that will haunt San Diego as they make the trip back to the West Coast are the mistakes that they made early. The two, the first two touchdowns to the San Francisco 49ers where they are beaten down the middle of the field when they're in position to make the plays and don't will, I think, for a long time make Bobby Ross and everybody involved with the Chargers organization wonder what could we have done if we would not have just given them a couple cheapies at the beginning of the ball game and then receivers for the Chargers early in the ball game weren't hanging on to the football they, they just made it too easy for San Francisco too early in the ball game I think all in all Stan Humphreys has held together Awfully well tonight. I think he's thrown the ball well. I think he has, uh, Frank, in my opinion, I think Stan Humphreys played a pretty good doggone good football. He's game. had a great season. Another great season when they brought him here in 92. Bobby Bethard brought him here. He threw for over 3,300 yards. He's got a great one lost record. Two timeouts left for San Diego as Humphreys looks over the middle, and that's incomplete at the 46 yard line intended for Mark Say. Second down and 10 at the 39 yard line. And Humphreys guns one. It's caught at the 43. And Tony Martin makes the catch there. And I think a few people um, around this uh, great land of ours have moved to, to the forward portion of the couch at the moment. <laughs> you better believe it. 27 seconds and the clock ticking down at the 44 yard line. Humphreys throws. Here's Ronnie Harmon making the catch, and he is stopped at the 35-yard line. And a timeout is taken by the San Diego Chargers. Mike Shanahan has made his way down from the booth, and he's hugging Steve Young. Well, it's second down. And one at the 35-yard line <laughs> to the strains of We Will Rock You. The Deion ball is snapped to Humphreys. Humphreys going deep and incomplete intended for Martin with 10 seconds remaining. Dion all the way back at the goal line playing center field here for the 49ers. Strategically placing himself <laughs> farthest from anybody on the entire field. Steve Young officially the Super Bowl most valuable player. And as good as, and you know, once again, once again, Jerry Rice turns in a sensational football game worthy of being a most valuable player in a Super Bowl, but yet eclipsed by a quarterback who turned in even bigger numbers. Hearts beating all over the land as Humphreys throws incomplete. And it is now fourth down with two seconds remaining. So this will be the final play of the game, barring a defensive penalty at the 35 yard line 49ers leading by 23 Humphreys putting it up and it is out of the end zone and why not Dion out of the end zone winds up with the football he gets the game ball Dion catches that one in the bullpen <laughs> The 49ers wrap up one of the great seasons in the history of the National Football League. As George Seifert wins his second Super Bowl title. The Niners the first team to win five. And Steve Young the first to throw six touchdown 